Hello, this is Ken Drews from the National Weather Service in Tucson. This video will explain what type of weather is in store for southeast Arizona this winter. The official temperature outlook from the Climate Prediction Center calls for a better chance of being warmer than normal than either being colder than average or near normal across much of the southwest United States this winter, including southeast Arizona. This is shown on the maps in dark orange. The precipitation outlook indicates in light brown the areas where a drier than average winter is the most likely outcome, although the probabilities are a bit lower than they were for the warm temperature outlook in the previous image. Shown here are the normal precipitation totals for selected locations in southeast Arizona. December through February normals are shown on the left, and March precipitation is added into the totals on the right. Most valley locations normally receive between 3 and 5 inches during the four-month period. Kitt Peak and other high elevation sites typically receive even more winter precipitation. So with the current forecast for drier than normal, most locations would not see totals this high. One factor that goes into the winter outlook is whether Pacific Ocean temperatures are warmer or colder than normal. Simply put, El Nino means that Pacific Ocean temperatures are warmer than normal, and La Nina means they are colder than normal. More specifically, the sea surface temperatures in a certain section of the eastern tropical Pacific, called the Nino 3.4 region as shown in the top map, are at least a half degree Celsius above normal for El Nino, or a half degree Celsius or more colder than normal for in La Nina. Also, those warm or cold ocean temperatures need to be observed for five consecutive overlapping three-month periods. As of autumn of 2016, the ocean temperatures were colder than normal as shown on the map in blue. The forecast is for those ocean temperatures to remain near normal or slightly colder than normal as in a weak La Nina through much of this winter. These maps show the prevailing jet stream positions during El Nino on top and La Nina on the bottom during the winter season. During an El Nino winter, the warmer ocean temperatures generally results in the southern track of the jet stream to predominantly favor the southern tier of the United States. This usually steers weather systems across our area and brings wetter than average weather to Arizona, especially southern Arizona. By contrast, La Nina winters are characterized by the jet stream being diverted away from Arizona, which usually results in a dry winter. With this year's La Nina only expected to be weak in strength, it may not be the dominant factor in the seasonal outlook, but a warm and dry forecast is nevertheless predicted. Even if the winter does end up being warmer and drier than average in southeast Arizona, that doesn't mean we won't still be affected by a winter storm or two. Remember, those storms can still bring periods of heavy precipitation, wind, and freezing temperatures that can cause hazards for motorists and other impacts. So always keep on top of the latest forecast information so you don't get caught unprepared. In the longer term, impacts from a warm and dry winter include the possible development of drought and or dangerous fire weather conditions, especially as spring approaches. Thanks for listening to this presentation. For additional information about climate prediction, La Nina, winter weather, and preparedness, see the websites listed here. Many of these are linked from the National Weather Service Tucson website, weather.gov tucson. Remember, stay safe this winter.